Hi guys, I got a lot of requests to do a tutorial on my zebra nails, so I thought I'd go ahead and take those off and do it all over again. And this is what they look like, and I did an accent nail that's white with black stripes, and then the rest are um, black with white stripes. Okay. And so I'm going to show you in a second how to do that. And um, my batteries were running out, so I only filmed with my good camera, because we're on my webcam right now. I only filmed with my good camera with the coat base coats already on. So let me show you what I used before we get into that. The first thing that I put on my nails was a base coat of the Sally Hansen Continuous Growth Formula. And... Uh, continuous treatment it's a clear base coat and I applied two coats of that then I used black this is sinful colors and this one's called black on black and I did two coats of the black and then on my ring fingers I did two coats of my um, NYC long wearing um, French white tip just the good old white and, and you'll, as you'll see in the next section, um, I used my Sally Hansen Hard as Nails French White Tip. And I used this one because it has the precision brush. And it's really stinking thin. And that's what I used to make my lines. And when I got to the black, I actually cleaned my wand off in um, nail polish remover. And then I dipped it in the black to do the black line. So I used the same brush for both for both nails. Okay, so there you go, and now I will show you how to do this part, and then when we come back, we'll finish them off with our top coats. Alright guys, see you in a bit. Okay, so before my battery runs out, I want to get to the detail work, and then we'll go back to the way I was doing it before. <laughs> um, what I'm using is the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails French White Tip. Okay. And this is the one that comes with the precision brush, which is a really, really thin brush. Okay. So I'm going to start with my ring finger. I don't know why. I just feel like it. <laughs> and I like to start from the corner. And instead of drawing stripes straight across, I like to angle them up slightly. And I start at the corner, and then as I bring it to the center, I flick it up. Okay? And then I'm going to do the same on the opposite side, right under it. And stop just shy of it. Get another dip. And it's completely random here. Make another little tiny one right here. That's a little smaller. So just keep alternating sides. And then I like to take and make just little tiny lines in some of the large spaces. And there's one. Okay, so let me do this one. I like to make some lines thick and some lines thin. And I try to kind of curve them a little bit. quick dip. And then see there's an empty space, so I'm gonna like maybe put a little one there. Maybe a little one there. And adding those little tiny lines make a big difference in the finished product. load up some black on my brush and make us some black stripes. So 
So you can see that whether you use white with black or black with white, it looks pretty cool. So there's my accent nail. Okay, see, that wasn't that hard at all. Top coat is done. And there you go. So that's all there is to it. It's really easy. Um, later, when it's completely dry, I will take a Q-tip and I'll go around and clean up all my edges. Um, I really don't have that much to clean up. Um, this one, I got some on the edge right here and down here on the cuticle but other than that they don't look too bad so I'll let them dry for a while and then do another clear coat and then clean up my edges and I'm all done so that is how I do my zebra nails um, thank you everybody who uh, commented on my nails and requested this tutorial um, so there you have it zebra nails alright guys have fun, and I'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Bye.